Why do you always fake smile when the camera comes on? I don't know. Just feel like I'm supposed to. There's something wrong with you. It was pretty fake too. Good evening, y'all. How you doing? I don't need this pen. Why are you opening it? I don't know. It's just I was holding it and so I felt like I needed to open the pen. Why does it go out of focus? I'm not moving. You are moving. But not significantly or dramatically. Moved my arm. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just making sure that it's in focus. Hi, Kayla. Yeah, see, it doesn't, it's not doing that, though. I don't understand. Uh, hopefully our lighting is okay. We're kind of playing around with this room. And so hopefully we don't look like dark shadows. But hey, what are we talking today? We, we're on here a little bit early because I have a thing. I have a class meeting this evening. So what are we going to talk about? We are going to talk, I just asked you that. Oh, we're going to talk about social media. What did I just watch? You ever did that? I mean, you ever watch a post and, and ask, what did you just watch because you weren't sure what it was? Because you weren't sure. I'm just saying, there's some goofy well. stuff on there. <laughs> when we post goofy stuff every Wednesday. Oh, I need to plug my phone in. Will it reach? Yeah, we're good. Alrighty, we have power, ladies and gentlemen. Behind the scenes, technical issues. What's up, Kim? Yeah, so, listen, two weeks ago, I think, Monocle. we did the video on your circle, right? Like your circle of friends and family and the people that you're closest to and the impact that they have on you and like your outlook and your perspective, right? If you guys didn't watch that, it was, like I said, about two weeks ago, we did that topic. It's kind of cool. But since then... Both of us have got lots of comments and questions and I have this issue and that issue and just lots of lots of comments about it. And so I realized that one of the biggest things that's affecting our perspective, even mood, attitude toward things, obviously our circle of friends, the people closest to us have a huge impact on that, but so does our social media. Good. Well, I was just going to say, I, I, my opinion is that Facebook and Instagram are the biggest ones. But you got what else do you have? You have Twitter and what else? Uh, I mean, there's Snapchat. there's Snapchat, there's uh, YouTube. Okay. Um, but you know, I think Facebook, in my opinion and in my experience, tends to leave us the most vulnerable because we can be scrolling on Facebook and come across something absolutely horrendous and disgusting or negative and just ugly and. Ugh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, does it have an impact on us? Can I do that just for a mm -hmm. second? I think it does have an impact because I just seen a post not too long ago, a friend of mine, and she was fed up with Facebook and the postings and the negativity and the drama and um, the things that she really didn't want to see that was continuous. And, you know, I think the part about what you're going to talk about today is why do you shut, why would you want to shut yourself off from your friends and your family when you have the option to unfollow? What do you mean shut off? Well, when, when you turn, you, you, you log out of Facebook and you're not on it anymore, how do you know? You don't have access to, to see what's going on with your family or friends. Okay. So those people or those <clears throat> things that are posted that are negative or affect you directly, unfollow them, right? Right. I'm just saying that you're going to talk about some of that today, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, I have people on here that I kind of keep up with to make sure they're good to go and, you know, like their posts, and I really don't say a lot. So, I mean, if I, if I see something that's, that's posted I don't like, I just unfollow them. Okay. Right? Yes, I mean... I'll shut up now. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's really jumping, like, full-fledged... I just stole your thunder. Well, no... <laughs> no, I just want to make sure we're explaining ourselves, that's all. Well, let's explain ourselves. So, well, let's <laughs> talk about what's in your Facebook feed. I mean, primarily Facebook, right? Let's just talk about Facebook right now. We don't need to get in, in, into everything else. But, do you guys have that happen where you're scrolling through Facebook and you see something just absolutely disgusting that kind of sticks with you maybe sometimes? Somebody being hurt or abused? or um, just a really gross story, and you're like, 
Here's the thing, guys. We all know that there is bad stuff that happens on this earth. Like, we're aware. We are aware. Why are we... I understand, like, the aspect of awareness and spreading awareness in things that are sometimes upsetting. Um, but I would say... I don't know, just my opinion. Most of the time when people are reposting really gross, gruesome, negative stories, um, it's because it's like, whoa, gosh, can you believe this? I got to show my friends. It's like, maybe you don't need to. So if you're doing it for the point of awareness and there's a message with it, that's a little different. But like if we're reposting and sharing things that are just like really disturbing, is it necessary? Like, like maybe... If you guys don't like to see that stuff in your feed, I know I don't. I, I really don't. Like, I'm talking about the disturbing stuff. I really am trying not to give specific examples. Because I feel like it could call some people out. And I don't want to do that. Or I don't want anybody to take this personal. But um, if we don't like to share or see that stuff and it's disturbing to us and it actually affects our day, the last thing we should do is click the share button. Don't you agree? Don't click the share button. Like, let's multiply positivity. Um, one of the things that Jesus really taught us is to not highlight what's bad, you highlight what's good. So in order to um, spread awareness and um, to promote goodness in our world and positivity and good energy in our world, that's what we should do is multiply that. And that's what we talked about two weeks ago in like our circle of friends, right? Mm -hmm. Talks about multiplying good energy, and so it can come down to social media. So here's the thing. If we have people, because when we talked about your circle of friends, we have to have more positivity than negativity, right? So if you have, like, because we want to mentor someone, and we also want to have a mentor, right? That's what we should be aiming for. Right. Um, but if we have more negative people in our life than we do positive, it's going to have an impact. You will become a negative person. And so it's the same thing with your social media feed. If you've got all these people that are just posting negative stuff or like overly political, you know what I'm talking about. Not calling anybody <clears throat> out. I, I truly am not, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to call anybody out because I probably unfriended the, or not unfriended, but unfollowed those people. I don't like to unfriend people. Um, so I'm not is, a big supporter of unfriending people, but I will unfollow you. And then a lot of times with those people, I'll check in and see how they're doing. And if they're still posting really horrible stuff, I just I just don't follow them because I don't need that. Like, why would anybody want that? So basically, you're trying to explain to your family and friends and people that are watching on Facebook to you know, choose wisely who you like yes. who you follow and what you uh, share on, on online yep. or, or, you know, on Facebook Yep. because it can directly affect you. Now, let's ask another question. Let's see who can, you know, somebody might, might uh, China. interact or chime in or whatever. What, what do you like to see? What grabs your attention when you're scrolling through Facebook, which is about 16 hours a day, when you scroll through people, <laughs> I'm just kidding. When, no. No, it's not very much at all. But whenever you do scroll through, what oh catches your eye? Oh, my God. It's going to take me a while to get over that. So I don't post that then? Don't share that? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. What, when you're scrolling for entertainment, what Things I like. Your eye? Like what? Cars? Yep. Uh, something to do with kids? Car sometimes. Okay. Um, Cars. Um, I like to see my friends. Okay. Um, but I... I Prime, I mean, probably my favorite thing to see is comedy. Something that makes me giggle, by far. Right, Christian, you're right. Yes, yes. yeah, Christian, the forerunners, absolutely. I mean, um, all that gang, if I see they posted or something, I want to see what's said, you know. So, things like that absolutely interest me. Okay, what doesn't but, interest you? What What do you see and immediately want to change to scroll up or, or unfollow that person? Uh, well, I don't immediately unfollow anyone. Um, that's just my personal preference. I don't like, they posted something I disagree with, I must unfollow them. It's not like that. It's like, if it's time and time again, like, oh my gosh, because we all have bad days, or maybe say things we don't really mean or something, and I mean, my goodness, I definitely can have a grumpy day, for sure. But if it's like repeated in this ongoing thing where people are just regularly negative or post, oh my gosh, I might have to call out PETA. 
they post some horrific stuff that's not even accurate, guys. What, what it's, it's the it's the animal people. You know, they, all the animal protective stuff. And I'm all about taking care of animals, guys. I am. But they post some negative stuff. Well, I, I don't follow them. Other people share it. And it's always disturbing, horrible stuff. Aren't they supposed to... Aren't they... What they're trying to do when they post that is to... to um, make everybody aware of what's going on and ask for some kind of support. And they're using that as a media tactic to get money. I don't know. I can't answer that. I just know that some of the stuff... Well, I'm not going to get into it. Because I'm not trying to call out PETA as far as being like this horrible organization. It's not like that. I'm just saying I don't follow their stuff because it's disturbing. And yeah, I think they go too far. Um, but... I use them as a pretty good example okay. of what I don't want to see. I don't like, um, I know that we're going to have some level of politics. We're going to have social issues and, and that's okay to have in discussion. I, I mean, I, and I'm not, it's not like I should be saying what's right and what's not right. This is my personal opinion. Um, but if somebody is constantly like drilling stuff and very, it's, it's just negative. It's, it's just negative. Like, constant social issues or stuff like that, like, probably I'm going to have to unfollow you because if it's really, if it has a negative undertone, because I'll, I'll pick that up and then I'll carry it through my day and that's not cool. No. But I don't just immediately unfollow anyone, but there is definitely, I don't know how many people I've unfollowed. So, so people will complain about their Facebook feed and I'm like, hmm. Sounds like you need to do some unfollowing because I have a pretty good Facebook feed. Mm -hmm. So what do you like to post the most on Facebook and why? Me personally, what uh -huh. do I like to post? Mm -hmm. I like funny. Okay. Anything funny. I like funny. Okay. That's why you But even me. yes. Yeah. Even I look funny. When we like if we if we run a movie or something, what do I want? Comedy. Comedy. That's it. That's all I'm into. I just like, because I like to be, the world is heavy enough for each and every one of us. It's heavy enough. We know the horrible stuff that goes on every single day. And the best we can do is our part to, to be a light in the world and, and spread that, right? And so I don't like to watch movies that stress me out. I want to be taken away from the stress of the day and watch something hilarious. It's totally stupid. So that's what I like personally. And another reason why you married me. Mm -hmm. Quit it. <laughs> All right. Um, what else did you want to hit on? Do you have notes? Um, no, that's about it. Uh, I mean, like, we wanted to talk about how you clean this up, like how you clean up this problem. And um, so I just say unfollow people. Um, I know that there's, there's things with, uh, you know, you can get negative interaction on your own posts and things. And I just, a lot of times, I learned a couple years ago to sometimes not respond to people. Um, but I don't want that to be like a blanket statement. Because I know that there's times where I get a little bit behind on commenting and responding to people. And now everybody's going to think that I don't like them. And that's why I'm not responding. That's not, not what I mean. Like, it's not why we're posting this at all. Whoever no, 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 no. This is honestly, I, we decided to do this topic because of the video we did a couple weeks ago where people were coming talking about um, some negativity on, on Facebook and, and other social media. And we have control over that. That's the entire point of this. We have control over what we're seeing. And Facebook makes it really nice for that where we can unfollow people. You can even... You can even fix your the, the advertisements that you see. If you go, get deep enough into your settings and your preferences, you can actually even adjust the, the advertisements that you're seeing. So don't settle for that. That's the whole moral of the story. Don't settle for that. Don't settle for people's negativity like repeatedly. I don't know if you maybe do like a three strikes and you're out type thing. Honestly, I probably give people more than that. But it, it has reached points with many people where I'm like, okay, I've had enough. You know, but I don't unfriend them. Because this might sound cocky, I hope it doesn't, but I like to spread funny things that are um, just entertaining or helpful, maybe, sometimes. I try to be, and I want them to see that, you know? And so I don't like to unfriend people. 
But I will and follow you. Don't point fingers. <laughs> and they don't know if you unfollow them. So it's kind of a harmless way to clean up your feed. And like I said, I check in with people after a while. It's like, you know what? I haven't heard from that person in a while. Let me check out their Facebook page. I can still see everything when I go to it. See, I'm not really friends and, with Brooke. And I, I have I un her. unfollowed people. I don't follow Brooke at all. She gets on my nerves. It's just all. Everybody can grow out of that, you know. Some people go through bad times in their life that it's just super negative or whatever. And so it, it's case by case whether we want to unfollow people. But I think a lot of people don't take advantage of that button. And sometimes you need to take advantage of that button. I like big buttons and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. So anyway. Yeah, we probably shouldn't. You can't sing. Not uh, that song. That's karaoke. probably that's probably inappropriate. Probably is. What are we looking at? The time. Oh. Oh. Guys, I have a cool meeting tonight for um, autism families. Going over some uh, some essential oils. You know, tips and stuff that we do in our home that we've learned about, so, and special needs families. So, um, if anybody has any questions on that, hit me up. I'm always willing to explain how that works, what that looks like, the point of it, the reason for it, and all that stuff. But that's you, where I'm headed tonight. If you don't like Brooke and you don't trust her, you can always PM me. It's possible. You know, here's a good point. <laughs> Everybody's not going to like you. Just get over that. Everybody is not going to like you. I sure as heck don't go out of my way to make people not like me. But I'm sure there's people out there that are like, oh my gosh, that girl again. It's uh, like Forrest Gump that's said. That's okay, because that's just life. Everybody cannot like everybody. It's true. Forrest Gump said it best. It happens. So, what can works. we say? So clean up your circle, right? I feel like we're making good progress on that. I actually haven't unfollowed or unfriended anybody for a long, long time. Well, that's cool. So good. I choose to be pretty patient and mm -hmm. and um, I actually like to hear the, the good and the bad and see what's going on. So mm -hmm. uh, it's all good. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Sorry, guys. I just got a notification. I don't, I don't know what that means. So, hi, Casey. Um, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um, if you need anything, let us know. If you guys got any requests for a topic uh, for next week, let us know that as well. Make sure and tune in to uh, or log on to YouTube. You guys can watch our videos there. Like the Brooke and Troy Show and subscribe. We're, uh, we're trying to get our people up in the, in the broadcast system there. So... Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. Sure you did. I was talking. It happens. It happens. That's what Forrest Gump said. He's my brother. Yeah. Oh, he's your brother. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think that's all we got. All right. Positivity, good energy, and positivity. And positively, good energy. Positively. Yeah, and that's a new word. I just made it up. So unfollow, unfriend. Do friend. burnouts. Be happy. What? Burnouts? Yeah. All right, then. You guys, be safe. All right, guys. That's all we got. It's early. It's kind of awkward, so we're just going to... Okay. We'll be back next week. I don't know with what topic, but we will be here. See you guys.